why do we need SLS, right? So, and I think that was in, I think that was kind of in the plan of like, uh, was it, do you remember? That's the elephant was, in the room. Yeah, that's the yeah. elephant in the room of let's yeah. figure out a way to get rid of this or do this in such a way that we can free up those funds for other programs within NASA and do cool stuff. I don't think we ever needed an SLS. I, I kind of agree with you. Maybe Most we did in 2011, know... and if it had come online in 2014, like they originally promised us, then there might have been a good reason for it. But now it's just too late. It's too late. I, I obviously know quite a few NASA engineers, and I don't think I know of any of them who are like, yeah, this is a great idea. A lot of them are like, I mean, it's what we're told to do. So that seems to be the general mentality. Most everyone did love shuttle, and they were sad to see it go. But when it came to SLS, they were like, I don't know, man. We'll just, we just build it. Let's use 40, 40 year old architecture and hardware to do the next generation features. No, sorry. 50 year old. Yeah. There's actually a handful of good reasons too, why we, even without the, the proposal of canceling SLS and Orion, we literally can't fly it past Artemis four. Because the engines for the European service module haven't been in production for 25, 35 years, something like that. And mm -hmm. uh, Northrop Grumman is estimating, or excuse me, not Northrop Grumman, uh, L3 Harris uh, Aerojet Rocketdyne is saying that it's going to take them at least a billion dollars to restart production if we want to continue flying Orion in its current configuration. And no one is appropriating money towards that. So one way or another, we literally can't keep flying it past our Artemis four, and all the Ukrainian yeah. knowledge that developed those engines has been tribally lost. No, Wait. that's the AJ tens. The Ukrainians had nothing to do with that, unless the Ukrainians were around in the nineteen fifties for the Vanguard rock rocket. That's the AJ ten. The Ukrainians shouldn't have anything to do with that. But you I know think. what? Look, we you know if we you can want sit to, here, can we rip them out of the the uh, orbital maneuvering system of the shuttle? We already Basic. did. That's what two of them oh. are. Two Dang, of them well, already are ones that we ripped out from the shuttle and had to well, spend got, $100 million each to refurbish. Well, we got four more, so we could do $400 million for that, right? Yeah, what about, we could. Wait, is there any, uh, any uh, service propulsion systems from the Apollo command service module sitting around somewhere in a museum? It's the same and engine. You're absolutely right. It is the same engine. Hello. My God. Man. Could we waste mm. any more any more money? See, this is why when people are like, "How come we lost the blueprints? How come? How come we aren't using the same stuff they did in the '60s?" I'm just like, "Yeah, we we are the engine." Hello. I mean, this is a this is a problem, right? Like, I mean, this is a fundamental issue that we need to solve for. Like, why 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 are we doing it this way? This is crazy. This is this is not a good way to build anything. You cannot just keep resting on this stuff. <laughs> reduce, reuse, spend millions, refly. No, that, you, you mispronounced billions. <laughs> you know, Jamie, I got to say, it's almost like lawyers don't know how to do engineering. So no, weird. It's weird. It's so weird. Considered yeah. that. 